Hello everyone, it is Matt Video Productions and welcome back to a useful video. Some of you might be wondering where I have been. It might be unfortunate to hear, but I do have to move in a separate direction. But I will still try to release uh, videos that I want to make and videos that I find useful in the future. Anyways, that's not what a lot of you are probably here for. This is essentially a guide on the best alternatives for Dolly 2. This is a uh, AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description. So we're going to be looking at alternatives to this uh, because it is not released to the public yet and I don't think it will be for quite some time. So I think this video will be useful. Nothing I will show you will be, you know, on on the level of this, but there are actually some very good examples that are kind of difficult to come across just by searching on Google, so that's why I'm really making this video. If you guys want to do anything even close to this, this is definitely going to be the video for you. We're going to start off with the uh, lower level models, and then towards the end of the video, we'll get up to the best performing models, in my opinion. And all of these are free, and links down in the description, of course. Some of them might update and move to different link pages, so be aware of that. You can try to just search for them instead. So, starting off, this is Night Cafe. Essentially, this is probably the best VQGAN-based, uh model that I could find. It's got a ton of different options. If you want to create really nice stuff, you will uh, end up spending money, but you can get free credits. Every day you get five free credits, so you can stack them up over time and, and try to make some nice creations, and you can do base images and all that fun stuff. But as you can see, it's definitely a capable model, uh, more on the artistic side of things with the uh, painting-like and digital art-esque things. And it definitely has a pretty wide variety, I would say. But I don't know if it's necessarily the most coherent model sometimes. Now, this is the first one that's pretty decent, I would say, uh, at coherent stuff. This is uh, RU Dolly. It's basically like Russian Dolly. Uh, obviously, no affiliation with OpenAI or anything, but it's uh, it's pretty good. As you can see, I gave it fly swatter. This is what it came up with. I would say fly swatter is a pretty difficult one. If we do something more uh, simple, like uh, I could do a lemon here and just click submit. It's going to give us a really nice, coherent image that's pretty high resolution as well. This lemon did end up coming out a little bit green, and this was about 30 seconds to generate this image. We've also got different stuff like we can change it to uh, an emoji, for example. So we're going to generate a new image here in the style of emoji instead of realism. Uh, with the same prompt of lemon. Well, we could just say it's trying its best. So the emoji portion is not quite there yet, but you can see where it's taking influences. It might be better at doing some things than other, but it's definitely worth a shot. This one does take quite some time though, at 30 seconds a piece. This next one is Leonide V3. So this is a uh, glide fine tuned on Lion 5B and then curated data sets. And yeah, these are a bunch of mashes of different projects. So this one is again, more coherent, I would say. It's good with uh, all sorts of stuff, I guess. Let's give it something difficult. We'll do diamond in the shape of a cube. And we will click submit here. This one also does take quite a bit of time, but you do get three images out of this one. You can actually change it up to six images. All right, so here we are. I'd say these are decent predictions. As you can see, you get three of them. That was a pretty difficult one that I gave it, but this one's super capable, so uh, you can throw some stuff at it and see what it generates. This one came out pretty good. And you can see this one works by upscaling, and the upscaling works really well. All right, now we're moving on to Dolly Mini, and this is easily probably one of the best models. I'd say this is tied with uh, the my quote-unquote first place winner. Uh, here I gave it Mother Duck with her ducklings and that did a fantastic job here. And we also get a, a nine or a three by three for a total of nine images here. So we're going to give it the same prompt as we did the, the last one. And this one's also super fast too for giving you nine images. And here we go. These are a lot more coherent, a lot more of what I expect uh, from an image generation AI. We could sort of see the cube shape. We could definitely see a lot of the diamond. It's it's sort of getting it. I just did the prompt of a cow car. So we're going to see if we can pick up that I want like a cow themed car. All right. Dolly 2 definitely would have been able to pick up on that. Let's add the word themed in there. 
And as you can see with the, the word themed in there between cow and car, we can actually see that now some of the cars are starting to like look morphed with a cow, like a cow themed car, I guess you could say. So this one is very impressive. This is much closer to the original Dolly and Dolly 2. So I would say this is almost as good as the original Dolly, probably, even though we never really got to explore Dolly. But this is very exciting, and I didn't even know about this model until tonight, and I've done a, quite a lot of research on this stuff, so... Yeah, check this one out for sure. This last one is Latent Diffusion using Lion 400M. I would say it's about tied with uh, Dolly Mini, and this one you can do up to four images. This one's also very quick. Simple, we can do up to 256 by 256 images, which is nice. And as you can see, it just did a diamond in the shape of a pig, and it did a very good job here with this one. And this one as well is also really nice, or it's like a diamond in the shape of a pig. Pretty much exactly what I asked for here, except you can sort of see the stock image coming through through because this was trained on a lot of stock images. Here's another part of that. We'll try a diamond in the shape of a cube. This is one of the ones we were trying earlier. Again, this one uh, does a pretty good job. I'd say in this uh, specific one, it did about the same good job as Dolly Mini, but very good um, either way. So yeah, definitely go play with these. I would mostly recommend these two, but some of these might be better for art or etc. or whatever you want to do, but I would give them all a shot. Um, because they're all pretty decent. So yeah, check them out. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.